What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to a base tour video. Uh, I'm gonna quickly take out this zombie. I'm terrible at the, with the pistol though, so I don't know. There we go, third time's a charm. Anyways, yes, like I was saying, welcome to this video where I'm basically gonna be showing you the updated status of my base right there. Um, uh, if you can kind of notice from just outside, those panels don't look exactly lined up. Uh, I will show you guys why they look like that. Uh, they don't look as bad on the inside, trust me. But we'll get to that part when we once we get inside the base. Um, I really like this location. Uh, it's kind of on the edge of an open field area. Uh, it's near a main, or it's not really near a main road, but it's near a road that's probably more traveled in this area up here than any other area, or any other road, I should say. Uh, let me just get in here and close this up and lock it. Um, as I said in the previous video, this was, uh, I was going to be putting a two-car garage in here, and here it is. Uh, I don't have a second car right now. All I've got is this beautiful, beautiful M2 uh, Humvee. I got some ammo for it here in the shed over there, but I'll get to that in just a second. I'm not really sure what I want to do with these rooms right here. Um, I guess if, uh, or when other people start playing uh, Overpock or Overpockins with me, uh, they'll probably be able to use those rooms for their safes or whatever they want to do. Maybe put some kind of crates or something in there. Uh, that was the front door, by the way. Probably not going to be used very much, but I decided to put a front door on the base for whatever reason. Uh, so here's the inside of the shed, just some basic stuff. I don't really have too much in here right now. I've kind of gone through and kind of used most of it already to build the base. Uh, up here on the second floor, we've just got some basic stuff around here. Not really too much. we got a few crates and a safe light, uh, lying down. Also that gun rack over there. Just go ahead and check out. This is the food and drink crate. That's pretty much all I'm going to keep in there is food and drink. Uh, here in the safe. Now this is the same safe I had outside in the last video, so just in case you guys are like, oh, you put a safe combination in the video and just put it up on YouTube, that's not the case. But yeah, there's just a few minor things in here. I'm not really sure what to keep in here, seeing as the server's on a coin base kind of thing. Um, but yeah, over here in this crate, we just got some basic medical supplies, blood bags, morphine, painkillers, antibiotics. Uh, I'd probably need to put some bandages in there, not really sure why I just vaulted over. Uh, right here in the gun rack, we just got a basic uh, MK48 Mod Zero with a few hunter belt or hundred round belts. Um, I'll show you guys here in just a second. Actually, let me show you, uh, yeah, there's the sandbag nest, but let me show you this first. So, one of the reasons that I decided to use sandbags instead of any other kind of wall it's because you can set them up kind of higher without having to upgrade them. They're really cheap to use as walls that you don't really necessarily want to put a roof on. And as you can see right now, I can just peek around and see if there's anybody on the back side of the base. Um, if there is, I can go take a different defensive position pretty much. Um, so yeah, over here in the sandbag nest, you know, you got a pretty good view of the road. The reason I decided to put the gun rack so close to the door to this area is because I could just pick up the MK48 mod and just come out here, and if there's a vehicle coming by, I could just lay waste to them. I mean, this right here, I, I kind of feel like in DayZ mod, or at least Overpock, or Overpockins, or whatever the fuck you want to play, uh, whenever you lay a plot pole down, it's pretty much your private property. So, I don't know. I, I kind of see cars passing by as intruders. But anyways... Uh, like I said, this looks a lot better on the uh, actual inside of the area. Um, I kind of got this idea from a, uh, you, you guys will end up seeing this later, a uh, uh, Wasteland video, sorry for that. Uh, Wasteland video, um, I, and as, as you can see, the, the sandbags, they started off really level, and then over here, as you get closer, they're not level, so I'm going to have to get more sandbags and kind of bring that down so it's a little bit better but I don't really know because the the metal floors are kind of angled at a position to where it really doesn't matter if there's a small gap between the floor and the sandbags but over here I have these corners open to where 
basically, if, you know, I'm up here and I see somebody running in from those woods over there, I can just easily, you know, come down or in anywhere in those woods, really, uh, from those pine trees or whatever. But I could just come down here and just start popping shots at them from this little opening right here. Uh, it's pretty good. There's, uh, this one is a pretty good one. Uh, it gives me an advantage from the facing from the front of the base, uh, more towards the road down there. There's a small little town. I don't really think it's going to be too, too populated. Um, this one right here, this hole right here is not very good, but this one right here is pretty good. You got a better, uh, view from the road coming from behind the base, kind of. Uh, also, there's a little broken down truck right there. Um, that's just part of the world. That's just part of the origins world stuff, I guess. Uh, but if you guys are wondering why these panels or why these floors are a little bit higher, uh, I set the first one and I was like, oh man, I set it that too high. But I don't know. I'm, it's kind of starting to grow on me because I can kind of come up here a little bit easier and get a better look at the woods behind me. Also, I can kind of peek. Let me see. Yep, I can kind of peek down there and see if anybody's behind the base from up here. And, you know, just, just overall, I can see a lot more of the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the neck stretched on the character. Sometimes I get a good laugh out of that. But anyways, I can also come up here and get a little bit longer range and a little bit more open area uh, from up there just in case I wanted to use a sniper rifle and not something more uh, mid-range weapon. If I wanted to use a long range, I would go up there. Uh, not really sure what I want to put in here just yet. I know that I probably want to come up with the tower a little bit and maybe make like a sniper area, like way up in the sky. Well, maybe not too far up in the sky. There is a build limit. But I do kind of want to go up in the sky and start doing some, uh, some sniper posts. But uh, anyways, guys, it's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed the base tour, or at least what the base looks like so far. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, just let me know whatever you thought about it. Uh, also, if you guys are new to the channel, there should be a subscribe button uh, on the channel, or on the video, rather, right now. Uh, just go ahead and click that. I do Daisy Mod, Daisy Standalone, and Arma 3 Wasteland. Every once in a while, I'll dip into other stuff, but... Yep, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one.